this quickly. This is about separations um, and separating specifically vector images. So when you're building a vector, you haven't really got in mind about how you're going to screen print it and separate it. So when we were building this one, there's lots of things like there's paths here, there's uh, white bits that might be on top or below the black areas. So you can't just go, you can't just select the black and pull it out because then you're going to lose a lot of detail. So this is just a really quick way of showing um, how, how to get that clean separation. So what I tend to do is I get one, copy it over so that I've got like a reference one of what it's supposed to look like. I tend to lock that down so I'm not accidentally messing around with it. So that's command two to lock that down. And then with this one, if I select it all, you see it's like a real mess, but it looks nice and clean when it's, you know, in its normal form. But if you expand that, and then this comes up with the expand the fill and the stroke, like that's what you want to do. So press OK. And then if we go into it, those stroke lines have actually jumped and then they're on the sides of these black areas, which is great. But then you've still got all this kind of like different paths underneath underneath each other and stuff. You want this as simple as you possibly can. And what you want to do is you want to kind of dissect it. I like to call it cookie cutting, but this is in the Pathfinder tool again. It's this trim. So trim it all. And that just chops it out of itself. Um, and then what you could do, just took a little second there. Then the, the lines aren't overlapping anymore. They're all kind of cut out of each other. So if I can take something like the white, if I select one section of white, and then I could go select, same, fill colour and stroke, delete it, and now I have a really nice clean version of that vector. So if I pull it over here with no background, you can see it's super clean, whereas this one is pretty gnarly in terms of being able to separate that. If I just show you them both next to each other selected, this is nice and clean, no overlapping, and this is like, oh, so much stuff going on. So this for a single color print is exactly what I want.